This is replacing a gas cap on a Chevy 2000 S10 LS model. This is a close-up view of the gas cap. Notice there is a plastic tether connecting the gas cap to the cover. I'm replacing this gas cap with the exact same one I've replaced it with before, made by AC Delco. But the issue with this is the snap that's at the end of the little plastic piece here that keeps, keeps it in place. It's got a special locking mechanism. And so getting it out in one piece can be a little tricky. No doubt you could break it to get it out. So we'll show you how to, how to get off that old gas cap. In this photo of the gas cap tether, you can see two plastic prong extensions on the top and bottom of the insertion portion. We will depress those prongs to remove the tether. So the best way we found to get that gas cap part off was to close the gas cover part way and using a bent sharp tool to negotiate to the back side of that clip and depress the little plastic little plastic piece that's on the side. You had to depress it down like that and slide it out. So, okay. Yeah. So with one tool, I'm going to pull it out. Just like that. All right. And replacing it should be equally as easy. Just take off the old gas cap. Put the new one on. In place. That easy. Replacing the fuel cap was straightforward. I replaced my fuel cap because the vehicle had a check engine light with error codes that are most commonly corrected by replacing the fuel cap. The fuel cap is an AC Delco GT261. It is original equipment. In November 2018, this fuel cap cost me $16.50. If this doesn't fix the problem, I'll look at replacing another part.